This is the Pixel 7a by Google, a mid-range smartphone that offers a lot of value for its price, just like the Nexus lineup back in the day. But is it still relevant in 2024? Let's take a look. When it launched last year in May, people were upset with the initial price being much higher than Pixel 6a, but over the time it has changed and now you can get it just under $400. The Pixel 7a also comes with a lot of improvements over the last year's model, such as better 90Hz display, an updated Tensor G2 chip from Pixel 7 now paired with 8GB of RAM, higher resolution 64MP main camera and a 13MP selfie camera, and finally with the added support for wireless charging. There are many nice colors to choose from, and this one here is called Sea Blue but it actually has a very light blue tone, almost being white so it looks more like sky than the sea. Design language remains pretty much the same as it was on Pixel 7, with some budget takeaways. There is a metal frame, but the back is made from plastic, and the new 90Hz display also comes with bigger side bezels, which look quite dated compared to the other phones out there. But the more time I spent with the phone, the less noticeable these bezels became, especially when using it with a case. The buttons are quite clicky, and a bit more on the harder side when pressed. With a Pixel phone you are going to get the latest software experience, which is mostly the same on all Pixel phones, by having the stock version of Android while featuring all the intelligent Pixel features. Currently it runs the latest Android 14, and Google has promised that it will get two more major Android versions, as well as security updates till May 2028. The animations are very fluid paired with a 90Hz screen, and the overall user experience is quite satisfying. I swear I would sometimes just navigate around the UI for this. The camera controls were sometimes a bit tricky as I found my fingers not making the desired input correctly, but maybe it's just human error. However, the optical in-display fingerprint reader seemed to work very well every time I landed my finger, unlocking it with the first time, despite this often being raised as a concern with this phone. But let's be honest here, the main reason for getting this phone is the camera. The Pixel 7a has one of the best cameras in its price range by using the formula that Google has perfected over the years. The phone has two back cameras, a 64MP main camera and a 13MP ultrawide. The main camera does 4 to 1 pixel binning, resulting in a 16 megapixel final shot. Unfortunately, there is no option to use the full resolution for capture. So I also did some tests against the S23 Ultra and iPhone 15 Pro, just to see how good it can actually be. This phone could even go up against current flagship phones as proven by some camera blind tests that have given the Pixel 7a a pretty good spot even compared to the top shooters. The Pixel 7a can take stunning photos in any lightning condition, with accurate colors, sharp details and good dynamic range. There may be a lot of processing going on, but sometimes the pictures can be a little bit over sharpened or noisy in the dark. You also have some extra camera modes to explore and play around with in the Google Camera app. But when I was testing the recording at 4K 30fps, the stabilization was insanely good. The scene did not move at all no matter how much I tried moving my hand, which felt quite unnatural. The selfie camera was pretty good and produced some nice portrait photos as well. It comes with a 4385 mAh battery, but the battery life is about average, which will last you for about a day depending on the usage as the efficiency is not the best on the Tensor G2 chipset. The maximum wired charging speed is 18 watts, which is quite slow paired with a battery this size, as it takes almost 2 hours to fully charge it, but at least now you get wireless charging at 7.5 watts. With wired charging being capped at 18 watts, interestingly in some bundles like mine the phone comes with a 30 watt charger, as you don't get the charger in the box, so with the extra power you should get some future proofing there. The Pixel 7a handles the daily tasks with ease, However, it might get pretty warm quite often. I noticed this when performing more demanding tasks and also when using camera for extended periods of time. And yes, it is also pretty capable in gaming. Interestingly, while playing PUBG Mobile it was not getting that hot as it sometimes would during normal usage. So, is the Pixel 7a a good budget phone to buy in 2024? I think for now it's still a great choice. People will come for a budget Pixel phone when searching for a special set of features that they are known to find here. Clean latest software experience with Pixel intelligence and a really good reliable camera, all for a decent price. However, Pixel 7a might be in a bit difficult situation right now, as the regular Pixel 7 is also an option, 
being priced close with around a $50 price difference. And the Pixel 8a is right around the corner expected to launch in May. Of course, if having a Pixel is not the only goal for you, then there are also other good budget choices out there, like the Galaxy A54 which is a close competitor to check out. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Pixel 7a, and see you in the next video.